Hello, we announced our new S32N vehicle super integration processor. This is a follow on to our big announcement uh, recently about the S32 Core Ride platform, which is a holistic approach to software defined vehicles and how we break the barriers of integration for automakers when they move to an STV, which is integrating a lot of vehicle functionality into the uh, zones and the central compute. This is the S32 N55. This is the center of the vehicle. It's consolidating a lot of functionality here. It can support real time ASLD, high level of safety, functional safety, totally isolated. And we're showing examples here of chassis, propulsion control, safety, energy management, power management, battery management, HVAC, body, OTA support, and STV management. All of these functions are running right here in the super integration processor and allows us to work in conjunction with the zones where we have S32K, uh, K3 processors for zones, we have S32K1 for endpoints. All of those work together in an STV implementation. Now this demonstration here brings it all together. We saw the architecture, we saw inside the chip. Um, we want to show how this can actually provide value. So we provide uh, three different demos here. I'm not going to go through all of them here. You'll see that online. But we target personalization. And when I talk about personalization, this means what can, what can I do in a software-defined vehicle? One of the examples is I want to go deep within this uh, this vehicle update the capabilities. I could put down a specific driver, sorry. This is driver one. This is the uh, sport driver. It totally adapts. You can see inside the chip all of the processing that is adapted. So the, the engine, the propulsion is more aggressive. The lighting's brighter. The wheels are faster. I have a yellow interior. If I use the driver two, it's more of an eco driver. So eco driver, uh, everything turns green, the wheels move slower, the lights are dimmer, um, they have extended range. So a software defined vehicle gives you the ability to adapt that vehicle over time, to personalize it as one example. We're also showing connectivity to the cloud so we can monitor the vehicle real time and adapt that vehicle. Let's look at the other side of the STV coin, which is how do we develop an STV, the software that goes into it, and how do we adapt that vehicle over time? So I have over here our second demonstration. This is also part of our overall STV support, which is the NXP Cloud Studio. Now, as we move to STV, we're going to have global teams of developers that are working on these processes. In fact, many of them will be working at the same time, but we can do this in the cloud. So they can log into the cloud, Typically, when you develop software, you have to develop the code, build it, test it, deploy it to the vehicle, and then monitor it. And that's what we show here, is the complete stage. So we can code it, support it with um, NXP's, um, hold on. We can support it with our tools in the cloud. We can do the code with our S32 Design Studio. We can build it. We can test it with our Synopsys VDK in a virtual environment in the cloud. So you can have hundreds of users working on this processor. We can deploy it through over-the-air updates to the vehicle. But what's really important is the monitoring. As I said, it's an infinite loop. You're continually developing software, deploying it, testing it. You may define that there is a way to make it more efficient, to make it safer, to make it more secure, or to add new functions. So you have the ability to real-time monitor the vehicle, understand what's going on, capture data that's really important to you to understand how the vehicle operates, and then go back through the cycle continually improving the SDV. The software-defined vehicle becomes better over time. So this is the whole process and NXP supporting that with the NXP Cloud Studio to do cloud development and continue improvement, continual deployment or CICD for SDVs. So thanks for visiting us here and learning more about the S32N processor, the S32N55 specifically in our demonstration, our first processor of the S32N family. For more information about that, you can go to nxp.com slash S32N. Now for the overall core ride, learning about how we support SDV development, breakdown, integration barriers, you can go to nxp.com slash SDV. Very simple. Uh, we look forward uh, for further engagements and how we can help you with your SDV journeys.